Good morning. Sri Arun Kumar, Secretary, Ministry of Mines, His Excellency George Castaneda, Ambassador, Embassy of Peru to India, Sri D.K. Sina, Inspector General Forrest, Mr. S.K. Runka, and we'll be soon be joined by Mr. Satish Pai, uh, the Chairman of the Committee. So it's my honor and privilege to welcome all the delegates and participants for this conference on non ferrous metals industry in India. The primary agenda of this conference is to focus on the growth potential of this industry and its importance in defining the growth trajectory for Indian economy. I would like to extend my gratitude to Mr. Arun Kumar, Secretary of Ministry of Mines, for being with us uh, this morning. So we really value our partnership with your ministry and look forward to taking this partnership forward. His Excellency George Castaneda, Ambassador of Embassy of Peru, a very warm welcome to you. Uh, Peru and India have a very interesting relationship in the area of, in many areas, including in the area of non ferrous metals. So we value your presence here today. Sri D.K. Sena, Inspector General Forrest, thank you for taking time out of being with us. It is always a challenge between mining and environment, so you know, it is, it is fortuitous that you are with us this morning. Mr. Rumka, thank you for your mentorship uh, to this uh, committee, and this conference is really uh, being driven and led by you. So the Indian non ferrous metals industry has been growing in the past few years and riding on a number of government initiatives. The non-ferrous sector uh, also has a new interesting dynamic because the states have to work with the center together to enable the growth of this sector. Demand has grown, there's a compound annual growth rate over 2.8%, but that's also a challenge because it needs to be higher. <laughs> Some of the sectors, not necessarily the sectors in focus in today's conference, are, uh, are have a strategic importance going forward, such as cobalt, lithium, for the mobile, auto, and electronics industry. There is clearly a global challenge for sourcing these. I was in discussion with some of the auto majors uh, a week ago, and their electric vehicle program is actually dependent on them securing sustained supply from countries such as Congo, but I think India also needs to look into strategic joint ventures or sourcing agreements for such a, some of these major minerals. A well-established non-ferrous metals industry is of immense importance for a country like India. The per capita consumption of aluminium is just 2.2 kgs against the global average of 10 kg. Similarly, for all other metals like copper, lead, and zinc, we lag far behind the world averages in terms of per capita consumption. This could also mean that there is a huge potential for the industry which needs to be leveraged to the maximum. But it also means that we have alternate strategies for development reaching the same stage of development with perhaps lower per capita consumption. The non ferrous metals industry faces many challenges today. There are issues like inverted duty structure under the free trade agreements, the challenge of infrastructure and the need to partner with the environmental ministry and other environmental agencies to address the environmental issues that the industry is facing. So this actually calls for a new government industry partnership for the domestic producers and it is imperative that we collectively address these challenges to realize the true potential of national reserves for boosting sustainable economic development. Later in the session, we would be launching a report which contains some of the potential remedies. Three key ones are uh, one in terms of the FTAs that we enter into, greater dialogue with industry and consultation. Production of most of the non ferrous metals consume huge power. Availability and cost are two challenges that we need to address. And, of course, we need greater involvement of private sector through the process of auctioning of mines, for example, in the copper ore area. We are really confident that under the guidance of our secretary and other senior officials, 
the Indian non-ferrous metals industry will be able to effectively tackle the challenges highlighted and be more responsive to the needs of time. I would like to once again thank the Ministry of Mines for supporting FIKI in the organizing this conference today. Your encouragement has always been a guiding force for us. I would like to extend and thank all the parts, a warm welcome to all the participants and thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.